Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of KNMRD Radio Stuff. Guys, today I want to talk to you about an antenna that if you're familiar with the channel, you've seen a hundred times. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Pactenna NFED Half Wave. This is something that I have been using for many years. If you go to the Pactenna website, in fact, you'll see my first review video on this. Now, traditionally, this has been sold as a 20 meter NFED Half Wave, and when I got this, I added a length to it to make it resonant on 40 meters and thus making it resonant on 40, 20, 15, and 10. Well, since then, George has decided to make a 40 meter add-on kit so you can buy this together, all pre-assembled. You don't have to do any of the work that I did and you can have the same antenna that I tout as one of my absolute favorite antennas. In fact, the Pactenna is in my top two favorite antennas in the world, right next to the DX Commander Expedition. If there's one wire antenna in the world that I wanna be stuck on a deserted island with, it is the Pactenna NFED Half Wave. So with this kit, you get, everything's already tuned. You don't need to do anything. You get the 20 meter NFED, Usually it's sold as just a, a wire antenna. It's, it, it comes with a bit longer wire uh, than 20 meters, so you cut it down to where you want it resonant in your portion of wherever you want in the band. Now he does make these slightly higher uh, towards the phone portion, but you can expect an SWR on all four bands of 1.5 to one or less. Now, the one he sent me is a pre-production model. It's a, it's a prototype, even came in a bag that said prototype. I thought it was really cool. So mine are actually cut a little short. I'm not gonna show you the SWR curves because it's not, uh, it's, it wasn't, uh, it, it's a prototype, okay? Uh, I just got off the phone with George. He assures me that uh, when they're assembled now, you will expect an SWR of 1.5 or less on all four bands. Currently, as of the time of filming, it's April 27th. He's got more coming in uh, first week of May. He's got a couple hundred of them. If you want a Pactenna, you are going to have to get on their groups.io to be notified when they're available. They pretty much sell out almost instantly. Uh, but that's what happens with the good antennas. If they're good, they're gonna sell out. If they're not so good, you're gonna see them available. And usually the good ones are made by smaller manufacturers like Pactenna, who aren't making these by the thousands, they're making them by uh, maybe a hundred or two. So, but the great thing about this antenna, it's so incredibly versatile. So never mind the fact that it's resonant on four different bands and you would simply just connect these little banana plugs together and link the two. But you can run this as a sloper, which I typically do, where you'd have one part of the antenna, say I usually just put it in a tree somewhere and then slope the other part into a mast and lean that in a tree, or however you can get it up as a sloper. You can run this as an inverted V, where I will take uh, a rope, put it through this hole right here, hang it on this kind of metal horn right there, that way it'll be secured uh, kind of close to the ground, you run up and the center carabiner, which is this, you put the mast, I like to drill a hole in the middle of these, and uh, but you could use any of the holes that are on these little S-beaner things. Put your mast on there, raise it up uh, on, at the center point, and then you tie off the other end uh, with the same, there's a one, another one of these clips on the other end of the antenna. Stake that off into the ground, now you have an inverted V. You could also run it, uh, say you don't have room to run a sloper or an inverted V, maybe you just wanna get on 20. You could run this, if you have a mast tall enough, uh, you could actually run this as a vertical. Now I didn't bring my taller mast, but the MFJ 1917 is a 43 foot mast that would be perfect to run this up as a vertical. Uh, with no counterpoise, your, your coax acts as a counterpoise, so, uh, it's, it's fantastic. You don't have to worry about a whole bunch of counterpoise wires for people to get uh, tripped up in when you put up an antenna in a, in a highly crowded place. Uh, very, very easy to use. I used this, where was I? Downtown Nashville, Tennessee, and I ran it as a sloper in the middle of uh, a memorial and did a POTA activation there, and there were people all over the place and nobody was tripping on the antenna. It was fantastic. So uh, again, go to the Pactenna groups.io, sign up for that, you'll get notified. George has the greatest customer service. Literally, I've seen the same questions asked a hundred times and he's so happy to answer every single time. And more importantly, he'll keep you up to date on the production of not only the NFED half wave, but also his nine to one and his link dipole. So uh, just fantastic, fantastic antennas. I can't recommend them enough. 
and I just wanted to get this little uh, video out to show you that you can now buy, you know, some people don't want to make, they just want to buy and get on the air. You can now buy the antenna that I have used for years and years now without having to make it, without having to tune it, without having to do anything. It's just plug and play. That's it. Just wanted to give a quick little blurb on uh, Pactenna, my absolute favorite wire antenna in the frickin' world. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, do leave a comment down in the comments. I try to answer all of them. And uh, we will see you again on another episode of KNMD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.